Welcome to Academic Guru's Tutoring Tuesday, where we answer all of your high school, college, and university questions. If you would like your question to be featured on next week's Tutoring Tuesday, please submit your questions to questions at academicgurusinc.com. Don't forget to subscribe so you can stay current with all of our new videos. All right, so in this video, I'm just going to do an amazing math prank. Um, you're not going to believe it. So without further ado, let's dive into it. So I have the numbers 2 and 1. Now I have a question. Um, which of these numbers is bigger? Um, logically speaking, you would say that 2 is bigger than 1, right? But what if I say that they're equal to each other? So I'm saying that 2 is equal to 1. Now if you don't believe it, you're going to let me say you're going to say that, you know, prove it to me. So I'm just going to prove it to you guys in a second. All right, so I have two variables, okay? I'm just going to call them A and I'm going to call the other one B. All right? And I'm going to just say A equals 1 and then B equals 1. All right? So far so good. And I'm just going to say that A equals to B. Now, I'm going to multiply both sides by a. So a times a is going to be a squared. So I'm going to have a squared equals b times a is just going to be ba. Now, I'm going to subtract b squared from both sides. So I'm going to have a squared minus b squared equals ba minus b squared. Um, so notice that a squared minus b squared represents difference of squares. So I can factor it out. So I'll have um, a plus b times a minus b equals to, and then I'll take a b out. So I'll have a minus b. Right? So now I can just cancel a minus b from both sides and I'll be left with a plus b equals b. Now let's go back to the very top of our problem. So I have a equals 1, alright? So I'm just going to say a equals 1 plus my b, my b is also 1, so I'm going to have 1 and then equals my b again, so I'm going to have 1, alright? Now, 1 plus 1 is just going to be 2. So, so there you have it, 2 equals 1. Um, there's obviously a glitch in this problem, because <laughs> there's no way that 2 is equal to 1. All right? And then if you figured out the glitch, that's perfect. Make sure to leave it in the comment section. Thank you for tuning in to our Tutoring Tuesday channel. If you enjoyed watching this video and found it helpful, please give us a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. We would love to hear from you. Until next week's Tutoring Tuesday, happy studying.